hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can get these aws batches so aws has recently launched four new batches and they are expanding their training modules to a total of 16 and they are offering these badges along with some assessments so i will show you how you can own these batches so these batches are really important for you first of all it is a cost free learning so you can access the quality content material and assessments without any financial burden so that's a great thing then secondly it can also be a career boost for you so you can add credibility to your profile on your linkedin profile by showcasing these batches then thirdly it is a self-paced training so you can learn at your own pace as in when you get time you can keep learning and you can follow a path also it is a structured learning path so there is a structure while you are learning a topic in aws which is great in order to understand step by step what you are learning and what you are doing then the last advantage could be it could be pathway to certifications as well so let's say i recently did aws cloud practitioner certification and now i'm preparing for my solution architect uh, associate certification so it could be a pathway of learning step by step so it's a great uh, add-on to your profile so stay tuned i will show you how you can also earn these batches okay so the first batch which you can earn is which has been launched recently is compute batch so basically it will comprises of compute services so let's see what all it offers so it basically offers you about ec2 instances and also you will be learning about lambda functions so both server and serverless options will be discussed in this particular batch which is an interesting thing to learn and the first thing to learn when you're starting your aws journey and this complete path is of 12 hour 20 minutes so that's a lot of content uh, free content that you can use and these all things will be discussed in that particular compute uh, batch so it will basically help you understand what are different families of ec2 instances which is a very important thing to understand especially when you are preparing for your aws cloud practitioner certification and then how to balance cost and performance then it will also tell you about different tools to help right size the compute workloads describe the components of ec2 instance then it will also tell you the right instance purchasing option for a given workload so it's really important to understand all these things when you are preparing for different certifications and when you are going for technical interviews also you can earn a batch which you can showcase on your linkedin profile and to verify your knowledge or identify any gaps that you might have you have to take the knowledge badge assessment score 80 percent or higher and earn an aws knowledge bash that you can share with your network so it can be shared on your linkedin profile or any other social networking site which you want to share and the assessment is based on the courses in the learning path so they recommend they recommend you to complete the courses as and when needed and you already have some knowledge about compute so you can go directly to the assessment you can test your knowledge you can get more than 80 percent and you can earn this particular batch so that was about the compute batch and how you can earn these batches the next batch which is an interesting one is amazon eks batch and it's an interesting one plus it is a very important one as well because it is related to the amazon elastic container service and it talks about amazon kubernetes uh, elastic kubernetes service uh, which is a really important uh, topic or a service to understand when you are learning about aws and it is being used by a large number of organizations nowadays so what will be covered in this particular topic will be basically the business value of adopting containers so they'll be talking about containers why container technology why do we use it and how you can build the container images business value and features of amazon eks summarize the concepts of kubernetes list the considerations when deploying a pod so it will be talking about different concepts and functions of control plane in kubernetes so you will be learning a lot in this particular session in sessions like these and it will be all step by step learning like first you will understand what is containers then you will learn how to build container images then you will understand core concepts of kubernetes then they will be also be talking about how you can deploy a pod on kubernetes so all these things uh, it will uh, enhance your knowledge a lot and especially this is being provided by amazon um, uh, people who are working in amazon itself so it is a great add-on for your profile as well as in your learning and again uh, you can earn a badge similarly by giving the knowledge base assessment and you are by scoring 80 percent or higher next badge that you can earn is events and workflows badge which is a knowledge uh, which is again a great badge in order to understand uh, 
this is a learning path which helps you to build the knowledge to effectively use aws step functions it also helps you uh, to use aws step functions to model build and monitor a complex business process and to design event driven architectures so that is what you are going to learn in this particular pathway so it will talk about key concepts and features of aws messaging services aws step functions amazon event bridge uh, so you will be learning a lot of interesting concepts in this particular uh, pathway as well then the next batch which i would like to talk is storage data protection and disaster recovery uh, so this is also an important batch and uh, you can start working on these uh, uh, tutorials and these learning paths and you can gain free aws batches and this batch is for around 15 or 10 minutes okay so now let's see how you can enroll in these batches so let's say i click on sign in button over here it will ask you to sign in to your aws skill builder account you can click here once you click here uh, you will be getting aws builder id you can click on create or sign in so if you are new to this you can create a new account and if you have already uh, and if you already have an account you can uh, simply sign into that particular account since I was already signed in into my account, it has taken me to that particular page. So it's just an easy way to sign in into AWS Skill Builder account. So you can also sign in into AWS Skill Builder account. And then you can click on this enroll button to enroll in this particular batch. It is saying you have been successfully enrolled. Now let's say I click on view my courses. So it will show you all the courses where you have registered and where you are currently. So let's say I have completed certain courses. Let's see in the list which all courses I have completed. So let's say we go over here. So you can see that I have completed AWS Cloud Practitioner uh, Essentials uh, batch and I can showcase it on my LinkedIn profile as well. So I think I have showcased it on my LinkedIn profile. So I will show you that as well. Then AWS Cloud Quest Cloud Practitioner Batch. So I've completed that training as well. Though, so it was an interesting game, which you can also do it for free. And you can learn a lot about AWS services along with hands-on practice and that too in the game format. And then architecting on AWS online course. So this is also completed. This is not started. This is in progress. So you can track your uh, progress over here as well. So let's see. If I go to my uh, dashboard and uh, the re let's search for EKS course where I have registered and let's see if it is able to search or not. Okay, let's go here. So this is my EC2 instance one. So you can go here so you can see that this is the compute one so it will ask you to take a pre-assessment and once this pre-assessment test is done you can follow other steps and you can similarly go one by one in this path and you can finish all these by learning one by one and finally you can come to compute knowledge badge assessment where you can give your assessment and you can earn 80 percent or more and you can showcase it on your profile that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video and it will be useful for you and you will be uh, registering for these batches and you will be completing the courses and giving the assessments and earning 80 percent so all the best for your cloud journey please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you Bye bye